So we are continuing with the physical properties of arenes. First physical property, they are insoluble in polar solvent like water. They are soluble in the organic solvent like benzene. And you are ether, alcohols. Then they are generally liquid due to weak van der Waal forces. They are inflammable due to high percentage of carbon in them. They burn with sooty flame, they, which is having lot of smoke, black smoke due to unoxidized carbon, melting and boiling point, generally low, but it increases with the increase in their surface area, increase in their molecular mass, due to increase in the magnitude of and all forces. They are toxic and are carcinogenic in nature. So they are highly toxic and produce cancer if they enter in our body. Then we come to the chemical properties. First chemical property, we will be studying the reactions of ring. First is halogenation. Benzene combined with Cl2 in the presence of Fe or FeCl3 at 310 Kelvin. gives chlorobenzene and HCl. It can also combine with bromine in the presence of Fe or FeBr3. This reaction we have done in the preparation of aryl halides. Iodination should be carried out in the presence of mild oxidizing agent because this reaction is reversible, HI produced during the reaction that attacks the hydrobenzene and reaction get reverted. To prevent the reversibility of the reaction, we heat it with iodic acid. Then we have second reaction of benzene ring that is nitration benzene treated with concentrated HNO3 in the presence of concentrated sulfuric acid at 330 Kelvin loses water we get nitrobenzene if the same reaction is carried out at high temperature 370 Kelvin S2SO4 loss of water then we get product meta dinitrobenzene if we treat it for longer time 5 days 3 molecules of HNO3 they react 570 Kelvin, this is called as baking. We get symmetrical trinitrobenzene. It is used as explosive. So, trinitrobenzene is highly dangerous compound. Causes explosion by taking small amount of energy. Then we have sulfonation. Benzene combines with H2SO4 concentrated at 370 Kelvin, producing benzene sulfonic acid. Loss of water takes place, and this reaction can further be carried out. At high temperature, 430 Kelvin, it will give you meta dry sulfonic acid. Meta benzene dry sulfonic acid. So these are the three reactions of engineering.
Now we come to the fourth reaction that is called as Friedel Craft reaction. These are two reactions. One is Friedel Craft alkylation. Methyl chloride is used as attacking reagent in the presence of anhydrous Cl Cl3. Product is toluene plus HCl. Then we have second reaction. Benzene treated with acetyl chloride in the same conditions. We get acetophenone. So these are the four properties of benzene ring where benzene is producing different compounds these uh, compounds can be also asked in the conversion this compound is acetophenone this is toluene we know so you can be asked uh, conversions convert benzene into toluene convert benzene into acetophenone benzene into chlorobenzene and so on now we come to these are the substitution reactions halogenation, nitration, sulfonation and friedel craft reactions they are actually substitution reactions now we will discuss addition reactions of arenes we will take three reactions there addition of hydrogen, addition of chlorine and addition of ozone we are continuing with the chemical properties of arenes. Now we are taking the second heading that is addition reactions of arenes. First of all, we take addition of hydrogen, benzene molecule having three alternate double bonds, therefore it can add up three molecule of H2 in the presence of catalyst and a nickel at 475 Kelvin, product is cyclohexane. Then we have second reaction that is addition of chlorine. Benzene adds up three molecules of chlorine in the presence of CCL4 or inert solvent. It adds up three molecules and we have ozonolysis. Due to three alternate double bond, it can take up three molecules of ozone in the presence of dichloromethane as solvent. Product will be CH. Six carbon system. It is now treated with in the water. The water molecule, the molecule will be broken like this. We get three molecules of glyoxal, and these three oxygen will go with this water. Three H2O. So three H2O2 is lost here. We have to supply three water here, three H2O2 gone, three molecule of glyoxal. So this is ozonolysis reactions. So these are the 
three addition reactions of the benzene where it has added three molecules of hydrogen three molecules of chlorine and uh, this reaction ccl4 and will take place in the presence of sunlight you can add here h this is called as benzene hexachloride bhc or 1,2,3,4,5,6 hexachloro cyclohexane so these are the addition reactions then we come to the oxidation reactions of aromatic amines third adding of chemical properties of adenine oxidation reactions aromatic hydrocarbons they get oxidized in the presence of oxygen nine by two o2 molecules are consumed g2o5 is the catalyst here this reaction takes place at 575 kelvin this ring will break from this position and we'll get ch double bond ch coh this is called as maleic acid 2 co2 is lost water is lost even this reaction now we come to The heating is going on. We do five is there, five seventy five is there. It will lose a water molecule, and will give you maleic anhydride. Now this can be further hydrolyzed to maleic acid. Then we have oxidation of the side chain a phenyl alkyl group present in the side chain it is oxidized by alkaline KMnO4 or by acidic five dichromates oxidation of side chain we have studied these reactions any alkyl group any number of carbon it has it will be changing into carboxylic group this is benzoic acid then if we have ethyl here the reaction will be similar we have benzoic acid here along with that the carbon dioxide We get two water molecules. Five oxygen they are consumed here. If you have dry substituted side chain derivative, again you are going to oxidize this system. We'll be having two carboxylic groups, and two H two O is formed. Similarly, it will happen to metaxylene. as well as para side most of them they are accepting the same oxygens it is changing into salic acid it is also changing into terry salic acid this is isothalic acid this is thalic acid alkaline KMnO4 is always required during these reactions so all the side chains whether they are having one carbon or they are having two carbons 
all the carbon they are likely to be oxidized to carboxylic group so uh, same number of, ca of carboxylic groups they are introduced in the carbon chain equal to the number of alkyl group which were present in that chain then we have another oxidation reaction that is etard reaction this is a named reaction here toline it is treated with chromyl chloride heated at high temperature we get a brown colored complex This complex is hydrolyzed. It will break to give you CHO plus minus H2CRO4 plus 2HCl. So this is benzaldehyde product softened. Then after this, we'll be discussing the mechanism of. Friedel Kraft reaction, halogenation, nitration, and sulfonation reactions. These reactions are highly interesting. If one mechanism is understood effectively, it will help to learn other mechanisms.